Heidi Fang here with Anthony Johnson coming off a huge TK, excuse me, knockout. Yeah. How did that feel? It was kind of a strange thing going on there. There was an eye poke and then he kind of walked into you. Walk me through what's going on. Uh, yeah. He, at first he said I kicked him in the nuts, and which I probably did, but to me I felt thigh. And, uh, it, you know, next thing I know I'm getting poked in the eye. Next thing I know I'm knocking him out. So it kind of it all happened so fast. But it, it was fun. I had a lot of fun out there. Now, Herb didn't see what was going on, Herb being the referee. He didn't see it? No, he saw me kick him in the nuts, obviously, but he didn't see me see him poke me in the eye. Right. Yeah, but, you know, Herb's an awesome ref. I got so much respect for him. He doesn't see everything. Um, you know, sometimes fighters will fake stuff, you know, and not like they're hurt when they're really not. So, you know, I respect Herb's decision not to stop the fight because maybe if he wouldn't have, if he would have stopped the fight, I wouldn't have got the knockout the way I did. So everything happens for a reason. Now, is the World Series fighting doing things like knockout bonuses? I hope so. <laughs> you did have the one of the night that you actually just laid him out. You put that right on him. It was a beautiful right hand. And I remember before we had spoke about you were being amped up during the press conference by DJ Linderman. You feel, I guess, the, everything came full circle the way it was supposed to? Yeah, everything happened the way it was supposed to. Um, he just, he's confident in himself. You know, he had a great training camp, I'm sure. But uh, don't talk about how much power you got whenever you don't know how much power the next man possessed. Just because I fought at 170, he, I guess he thought that, you know, I was some kind of scrub and I couldn't punch because he was fighting at heavyweight before. Um, it doesn't matter. Like I told, I think I told you, I get hit by Rashad Evans and Alistair Overeem. Not many people going to be able to hurt me if they're not hurting me. You know, and those guys can hit. They're true warriors, you know. And, uh, yeah, he pulled me down and got sloppy, so I just capitalized on him. And you know, your whole team here today, you had Jay-Z successful, Tyrone Spunk successful. Uh, tell me about how great a feeling it is to have your whole team out here and everyone's bringing home the W's. I love my team to death. Um, Without them, I wouldn't be at the level that I am right now. And uh, I'm proud of them. I love them. I'm happy. We're all happy. We're, we're about to go and drink some sodas. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to get drunk. We're just going to sip on some sodas and uh, have fun. Tyrone Spong said he wanted to eat some chocolate tonight. So you guys got to have some chocolate and sodas, OK? That's good with me. He called me the big chocolate bear. So I, I hope he's not talking about messing with me. But uh, yeah, man, we're just going to go out and have fun tonight. You know, we all did a great job. I'm proud of Jay-Z. I'm, I'm so happy for Tyrone. This is his MMA debut. I think a lot of people kind of counted him out because he was a straight kickboxer and didn't, never did MMA in his life until he came to Florida. And uh, he's improved so much. You know, Tyrone's my brother. Jay-Z's my brother. The whole Black Zillion clan is my brother. I love those guys. And we're going nowhere but to the top. Well, we wish you all the best, Anthony, and congratulations on your knockout. Thank you so much. Thank you.